is Tiffany with Hilltop Tulips, and I have Althea and Elizabeth with me today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, goodness. And today we have a super quick, super simple pumpkin muffin recipe for you. I do love to cook from scratch, to combine all my ingredients, and to take the time to do that, but sometimes a box cake mix can save the day. And I'm going to show you guys a recipe for when that is what you need. So, to start with, we have our box cake mix. This is one I got from Aldi. I love that store. Um, go ahead and put that over there. We've already put that in our bowl. And then, what is this, Elizabeth? Um, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin. We have um, your pumpkin puree, your canned pumpkin. If This is a 15-ounce can. So all you need is one box of cake mix, one can of pumpkin, and you have muffins. Everything else is going to be optional. So you will get your turn to mix, I promise. Aww. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get that mixed up. And we have over here our glaze that we're going to be putting on top. And then for mix-ins, you can do up to a cup. Now, I have pecans and chocolate chips. We've also mentioned that um, we were talking about different mix-ins we could try, and you can do like white chocolate chips and cranberry. We're a little bit shy of 15 ounces of pumpkin now. <laughs> a little bit in the floor. <laughs> what? It's gonna be orange. Good job. Thank you. So get that mixed up good, Althea. Um, yeah, white chocolate and cranberry would be awesome mix-ins. You can do up to a cup of anything you like, really. I think butterscotch chips would be good. Um, we are going to add... Hold on, let me, let me get it started. She needs her turn to mix. Yeah, let Sissy get you started, okay? Okay. Um, we're also going to... We can go ahead and add this in. I have pumpkin pie spice. I saw one recipe that um, used a spice cake mix. So I was thinking it would be really good if we added a pumpkin pie spice. But you can put in just cinnamon or nothing totally up to you um which one you got to get it mashed real good it seems like a dry mix at first but it's just getting that pumpkin incorporated it'll loosen up um elizabeth do you want to dump in the pumpkin pie mix or pumpkin pie spice here this one there you go thank you good job here i'll take it <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty. So what you missed was our add-ins. We did um, put in half a cup of chocolate chips and half a cup of pecans. Um, so we put them in the oven on 325, and you cook them for 10 to 12 minutes. So anyone who bakes knows that each oven's gonna vary. So starting at about 10 minutes, you might wanna keep your eye on them. We checked ours at 10 minutes and then put them in for another two minutes and they're perfect. So ours uh, took the full 12 minutes. My friend who told me about the recipe, she made full size muffins, not the mini muffins. And she said she left them in for 10 extra minutes. So like 30, uh, 22 minutes. Um, and then just kept checking them after that. So it's totally up to you um, to check on those and see when yours are done. So we're gonna go ahead and make our icing now. We have half a cup of powdered sugar, and then we're going to start adding our tablespoon of milk until, let Sissy pour it in, until it's the right temperature, uh, the right thickness. There you go. And you may only need a tablespoon. It, um, that powdered sugar will soak it up. Make sure you stir it real good. Don't add any more yet, Elizabeth. And it is going to depend on how thick you want it. If you want it thinner or if you want a real thick icing on them. Um, yeah, I don't want a real thick one, so go ahead. Elizabeth, can you put one more scoop of that in there? Hold on. Look, get a little bit more. Full scoop. There you go. There. All right, pour it in. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> It's really Let's messy. Let's just get it started. I'm you can not, mix it. I'm going to mix this. Yeah, you can mix that. Go ahead. She's going to get that milk all good mixed up. So, while they are getting that mixed up, 
I promise you guys I will tell you about any money saving opportunities or any deals or anything like that that I know about. So I wanted to mention to you a website called Paribus. She doesn't need any more baby. Yeah, don't it look good? Yes. I believe I'm saying that right, Paribus. So um, we ordered Elizabeth this cute little apron here. You gonna show them? <laughs> and it was supposed to come on I think a Sunday and it came on a Monday or something like that but with Amazon's shipping agreement um, if something comes late they will compensate you so Paribus the website keeps track of that I had totally even forgot that I signed up for Paribus but I got an email a couple days after her apron was delivered <laughs> all right little lady you're making a mess um, so I got the email a couple days after her apron was delivered and they, um, said to copy this response and it said something like your, my order number, whatever was late. Please make this right via your shipping agreement or something like that. Um, so I copied that. Then I clicked on the link in the email to go to the Amazon chat representative. And then once I got them on the line, um, I just pasted the response that was in the Paribus email and they asked me if the item was delivered and I said yes and I assumed they weren't you drinking the milk. I love it. I know it's so good. I love my milk in my cup. That's yeah that's usually where you drink it out of. But I guess that's yours now. Oh okay okay stop that. We'll put it in your cup. So, um, I told them, yes, it was delivered. And then they said, okay, we're going to compensate you $5 for your inconvenience in your Amazon account. So I had a credit of $5 in my Amazon account. So that was super exciting. And, um, just to let you guys know that that deal is available. All right. We're back with you guys. Um, Miss Elizabeth was getting it antsy and did not want to stay with us to finish our video but we have our ice in go ahead and you can drizzle it on there make it look real pretty like a magazine beautiful okay that's real thick can you do something with a real thin just drizzle like a little yeah there you go perfect Okay, now I was also saying before the um, video cut off before that if you can be patient with them when they're little, like Elizabeth, then when they get to be her age, you have someone to make you goodies while you work or while you sit on the couch and relax. So her cookies are actually better than mine. Don't tell her. Don't tell her because she'll get a big head. But her cookie recipe is awesome. Oh, that's way too thick, babe. Ooh, that one can be okay. That's enough. All right, beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so go ahead and break you one open. Yeah. Show them the inside with all of our fillings that they didn't get to see us put in. That's not trying to be. Yay. So it's super moist. Mm, Do you like those better? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I can't right now. I can't eat anything else. <laughs> we just had Chinese for dinner, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. um, but we did make these once before with the can of pumpkin and um, devil's food cake mix, and no one really liked it. I liked them. I thought they were good, so I can't wait to try these. Um, but she didn't like those, but she loves these, so. These are better? Yeah, maybe just one because they're a little sweet. They are but... sweet? Okay.